Right, to make a phase one. Time for a competition, I think. Right, this is the brand new product from Novo Pro. This is the PS1 XL. And I really, really like it. And in this video, we're going to review it and tell you all about it. But, I think we should give a pair away. Yeah, a pair of these podiums we're going to give away. So this is going to be on Facebook. And we're going to put the video up on the Facebook. And we just want you to like and share. So like and share and leave a comment. So then when you leave a comment, when we come to do the draw, we'll be able to find you. Because it's just going to be a lucky dip. We're going to put all the names in the hat, pull a name out, and someone is going to win. So we need you to like it and share. And leave us a comment. So the next thing we're going to do is let's have a look at the brand new Novo Pro PS1 XL. And you can win a pair. Woohoo! Right, so let's have a look at this product. It's a brand new product from Novo Pro. This is the PS1 XL. What is it? It's a podium. Now, there's several different podiums on the market at the minute, but this one particularly caught my eye because it just seems to tick all the boxes. Right, for one, it's fully height adjustable. So I only have to buy one set of podiums. I don't have to buy a set of one meters, and I don't have to buy a set of 1.5s for different heights for different shows. I can use this for low, high, it's adjustable. And it works, it really, really does work. What would you use this for? Well, you tend to put um, lighting fixtures on the top. A lot of people put the starburst type, of, like ball type uh, lights on the top, or moving heads. Uh, but you can also put a speaker on top of here as well. Right, in this video, I'm going to take loads of pictures and show you how it works and all the rest of it. But I'm going to point out some key facts, or factors, right? So, why do I particularly like this? Well, it seems to come with everything I need. It's height adjustable. It comes with bags to store it in, which when I pack this down, I'm going to put it away in the bag and I'm going to show you how it all goes in the bag. So one bag for the uprights and then another bag for the base plates. So it comes with that. It also comes with, uh, where have we gone here? Ouch. It comes with um, two different types of fixing. Now you'll see me fix the top on in a minute, but it comes with finger bolts so I can put it on and just undo it but if you want to put this up and leave it up permanently you could use the M10 bolts and bolt it in and it comes with them so it's great it actually comes with some M10 bolts and some finger bolts if you're going to take it to bits every time I recommend that you use these right it also comes with a top hat spigot which I'll show you in a second it also comes with some supports top and bottom and I'm going to pan the camera down to the bottom so you can have a look and of course it comes with a top, top plate which I am going to show you and I'm going to attach it during this video also it comes with and again this is killer it comes with a white scrim which you saw in a previous picture on the video and it also comes with a black scrim which we'll put the black scrim on as well so you can have a look at it so it comes with everything you're going to need I've not finished yet it also comes with some velcro straps so when we put our moving head on the top we can put our DMX cable and our power cables down the side and then we can velcro it round making it all nice and neat and tidy just in case the cable police are around I'll show you how that's going to work when we do it but it actually comes with the velcros brilliant and it also comes with these sticky pads again I'll show you what these are for in a moment so We've got our unit, let me show you how we adjust it. I'm going to take the camera off and just bring it a little bit closer to show you how the mechanism works. Right, here we go. This is our podium. I put it down nice and low so we can see. See these two items here? Yeah, the little catches. Pull that out, twist it, pull it out and twist it. And lo and behold, our podium gets bigger or smaller. But there's some holes in here. So what we can do is when we click it back here and we'll get it to a height where it's thing and it'll clip solid into place. It's as easy as that. It just, it's a simple design that works. There we go. That's how we're going to adjust the height of our podium. Right, 
let's have a look at the base plate. Now what we've got, firstly, this base plate, but the whole item comes in at 17 kilo. So it's really, really sturdy, it's heavy enough, it's not gonna be easily knocked over. You know, before anybody asks, oh, it'll get knocked over. No, I don't think it would do, right? If they're gonna be able to knock this over, they're gonna knock, be able to knock anything over, right? I'll just give you a quick measurement across here, right? That is 50 centimeters, and I believe that'll be a square, and it is, it's 50 centimeters. What we've got here is a little cutout, as you can see. This is just gonna make it easier to carry. As you've already guessed that I've put this together earlier, right? But I'm just gonna show you something. So using the finger bolts, I'm just gonna take these two, these, these two out here, because I want you to see the, um, the extra support. So you can see, this is two separate items, but we've got an extra support that goes across here. Now, I've noticed at a lower height, you don't get any wobble anyway, but I think when you get it up to a little bit higher, this just gives it an extra bit of rigidity, so it's not going to wobble. Personally, I would just use them all the time. You know, they come supplied, they come in the box, and all you do is lay them across from left to right, and add them in, and just screw them up, and basically, that is how that works. We've seen podiums like this, uh, well, not like this one, because this one's quite unique, but we have seen podiums in the past that they do get a bit of a wobble on, right? And I think this support across here does cure that. Right, I think it'd be a good idea now to attach the top plate. So we've got our top plate. It's got... And it's got a hole here. Uh, that is to let your cables go through, but also it's a nice little handle to be able to carry it and lift it but we're going to put our cables through there so what we need to do is we need to attach this which we'll do now in this instance we're going to use the cross supports What's really nice is the way that it's been designed where the thread is on the on the top plate it's easy to locate the podium top plate on to the legs and also locate your nut through or your bolt sorry Just also like to add as well that it's all been nicely powder coated. It feels like a quality item. All this has got a really nice finish on it. It just, you know, feels like a really quality item. But there you go. That's how easy it is to put the top plate on. Obviously, it's the same process for putting the bottom plate on, but it's just bigger. So there in the video, you saw me putting the top plate on using the easy M10 bolts that have got the wing nut on so we can turn them on. But also in the with the kit comes some ordinary M10, right? Now, what would you use those for? You would use those if you wanted to keep this permanently made. You might be one of those um, mobile performers, DJ, band, like that. Got a nice big van that you don't need to collapse this down every time. You might want to keep it in place. And then if you were going to build it and build it permanently, I'd use the, the M10 bolts. Now, what's also really nice, and it is the little things on this, I did say on the top there, that there was a hole, right? And there's the same on the base plate, as you can see there. But do you know what that makes it really handy for? Is if you are gonna keep it all together, there's two nice handles to be able to move it around. It's the little things that make this product work. Also, coming with the unit, are these two little non-slip pads. One side you can peel off and you can stick it on to the top of the top plate, like so. 
We're not going to do that in this instance because I'm not going to use them, but that gives you a non-slip surface. So if you wanted and you had uh, you want to put a speaker on there or some monitors, uh, this could be used as a monitor stand in a studio. You might want to put your monitors on and this will give it a nice non-slip surface. You could put your moving head onto here and it will give it a non-slip surface, but you just peel that back and stick that over the top. Comes with the unit, brilliant. And the features just keep coming. Like I said earlier in the video, that is a 35mm top hat. And that comes, guess what? It comes with the unit. We've got a hole in the middle of the top plate. We just put another supply bolt through, put that on there, like so, thread that down. And now you could place a speaker on there. Just an alternative to a standard speaker stand comes with the unit. Brilliant. Right, so I think the next thing is we need to put a fixture on top of it. So we've just got a little moving head that we're going to put on here um, and put in the little slot to the back. So let me just tip that up. You can see the hole is at the back. Why would you want that at the back? Because that's where we're going to hide all our cables. So we're going to we'll just put our XLR cable in for DMX for demonstration purposes. So we're going to go up through the back into there yeah then we will get our power as well and feed it through the same hole but like i say comes with these little handy velcro straps so what we can do is we can do a nice job of tidying the cable round the back so we can't see it and using the cable ties or the velcro strips for the want of a better word we'll be able to tie the cable on get it nice and tight because we don't want the cable police coming to get us when we're showing exposed cables. Oh, it's a big no-no. So all I would do is I would carry on down that leg there to make it nice and neat and tidy and you won't be able to see any cables. Right. I know we're not in a darkened room here, but what we've done to get the desired effect, we've put an up lighter in the bottom, we've put the lighter across the top so you can see it changing colour. We'll maybe put this in a darker room for you to have a look at, and this was with using the white lycra scrim to go over the top of it, and we've got our moving head on, and as you can see, we haven't got any wires showing, which is really, really nice. So there you go, there's our second look. That is with the black scrim on, which I think looks really, really smart as well. Now, obviously, there's no point in putting an up lighter in there because it's not going to change the colour of a black scrim. But that scrim comes with the unit. Like I say, this item just seems to come with all the bits I need. I don't have to go buying any extras. Right, so that is my overview of the Novo Pro PS1 XL. I think it's an excellent product. I think it's been well thought through and it comes with all the bits I need. So let's just recap on what it comes with. It comes with two Lycras, it comes with a top hat so we can put a speaker on there. It comes with a base plate, it comes with the top plates, it comes with the Velcro straps. It comes with two different types of bolts, so just in case you want to permanently fix it or be able to do it and take it apart by hand. It comes with the bags, so when you buy one of these, or a pair of these, you don't need to buy any extra bits. I think it works really, really well. Just recap again, it weighs, the total item weighs about 17 kilos. And the height adjustment, I've had to write this down because I have to write something down, we can go from 990 millimetres to 1750 millimetres. So it just hits all the magic heights that we need as a podium to put our effects on. I just think that's a really, really good unit. What I'll do in closing the video is we'll just show you me stripping it down and putting it into the bags. But I'm not going to waffle on during that. I've waffled on enough. If you want some more information on this product, Click the link in the description if you're watching YouTube. So if this is on YouTube, click the link in the description and it will take you through to our website where you'll see the pricing on this product. We don't like to talk about pricing on our videos, but let me tell you, this hits the right price point. It's worth its money in my, my mind. I think it's excellent. If you're watching this on Facebook, obviously you're going to have to come and find us on Facebook and come and find where we are. Um, which is going to be easy enough, it's phase one DJ star, searches in Google, searches on Facebook, you will find us and I'm sure you'll be able to find out or give us a ring and there'll be some information at the bottom of this video uh, to get in touch with us as well with any questions you've got. Right, so 
Let's just left to pack it down. Let's make it phase one. Cheers. So, in closing, this is uh, that was my little review on the uh, Novo Pro PS1 XL, which we really like. And what we're going to do is we're going to give a pair away. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, you need to get across to our Facebook page and like and share this video, which will be on our Facebook page. Dead easy to find us on Facebook. Just type in Phase 1 DJ and we'll pop up. If you are watching this on Facebook now, brilliant. Give it a like, give it a share, drop a comment in there. And around about the end of February, we're going to announce a lucky winner. We're just going to pull a name out of the hat. Lucky winner to win a pair of these. It's as simple as that. Like and share this video on Facebook. End of February, we pull the name out of the hat and you can win a pair of these. Nice.